Hi and welcome back to our Optics Red YouTube channel. My name is Spila and today I will talk about Minox X-Active 8x25 binoculars. Minox is a respected brand company from Germany and the company is probably best known for manufacturing spy cameras with the highest quality lenses in the world. They also offer binoculars, monoculars, spotting scopes and rifle scopes with incredible optical performance and compact design. X-Active is a brand new series from Minox launched in 2019. This series offers versatile applications thanks to four different objective diameters with 25, 33, 44 and 56 mm objective lens. All binoculars have a good optical performance with neutral color rendition and high contrast. These incredibly versatile binoculars are hand-friendly, waterproof and have incredible optical features. They are all made in China and um, there are two models available with 25mm objective lens, so 8x magnification and 10x magnification and they belong to the pocket binoculars category, which are one of the smallest in the category of binoculars. They are small, lightweight and very easy to hold in hands and carry around the neck. So they are perfect for birding, traveling, safari or any outdoor observation. Okay, so let's say something about design of these 8x25 binoculars. As you can see, they have very distinct Minox design, so everyone who knows Minox binoculars can immediately recognize their design. They are made from aluminium and finish is in black rubber. Thanks to the robust housing, the X-Active series is well protected against outside influences. A nitrogen filling prevents fogging from the inside and they are also waterproof according to IPX7. You can also see some markings on, bin on binoculars. Here is the name of the manufacturer, and the name of the series, and here is the magnification and objective lens, so 8 by 25. So really minimalistic and elegant. To ensure smaller dimensions and compactness, they have a roof prism system that offers better optical technology. So they feature face-corrected schmidt peham roof prism. They have single hinge and open bridge design, so you can easily use them with just one hand, but only if you don't have thick fingers. They are around 11 cm wide and 11 centimeters long, so they are quite big for a pocket binoculars. They weigh around 325 grams. You can also mount binoculars on a tripod by removing this screw cap on the bottom of binoculars and attach a tripod adapter, but there is no need to mount binoculars on a tripod because they are very light and the shaking of hands isn't as noticeable as with bigger heavier binoculars, such as 8x56, for example. These binoculars have turnable eye cups. The turning is really hard and the eye cups are stable, so when you press on them, they don't fold. They have four positions, so this is one, two, three and four. You can also hear and feel when they set in the position, so this is really good. They are also re re really good quality and covered with rubber, but they are not suitable for eyeglass viewers. Optically, they have multi-coated lenses. This means that some lenses have multiple layers of anti-reflection coatings. The field of view is, uh, is good, it's 121 meters at 1000 meters. Image is bright and sharp at the center, but not, not so much uh, sharp at the edges. 
and there are um, some internal reflection but not that noticeable so it's not really a big deal monoculars have a big central focusing knob here with rub surface for easier adjustment and better grip the turning is really smooth you can easily turn it with just one finger and the focusing is fast so this is better for outdoor activities such as hiking bird watching safari as i said before on the right eyepiece you can also see that there is adjustment ring for diopter here so let's see what's included in the box so we got this soft case with one pocket a neoprene carrying strap for binoculars you also get a cleaning cloth instructions in multiple languages and two years warranty you can also uh, get 10 years um, more warranty after you register it okay so this is it and let's see some good and bad points about these binoculars so first to the good points for me these binoculars have really great build quality as any minox binoculars the eye cups are really good so the quality is good the turning and the positions so they stay in the position they don't fold they're also audible so you can hear them click and set in the position which is really good the image is sharp at the center they're waterproof down to five meters and also fog proof and fill with nitrogen they have really good field of view 121 meters at 1000 meters and they are a little bit more comfortable to use not as other pocket binoculars because other competition other competition has 8 by 20 binoculars so uh, they have 20 millimeters objective lens and these binoculars have so 25 millimeters objective lens and they are so they are more comfortable to, to use and they have a little bit brighter picture uh, image okay and to some bad points they are less compact so they don't have dual hinge design they only have a single hinge so they they can't fold to the small uh, position so you can't store them in pockets so they are really big for pocket binoculars and open bridge design it's not suitable for those who have thick fingers so it's no use to have open bridge design they have short eye relief which makes them less suitable for eyeglass viewers as any other pocket binoculars this is normal they also have some internal reflections and um, what i really missed is that there is no eye cups and objective lens covers in the box they cost 199 euros and 8x25 model is suitable for beginners because they are compact and versatile binoculars and a great choice for various outdoor activities as i said hi hiking traveling camping bird watching safari sport events and other outdoor activities and they are not for those who want the ultimate small binoculars so pocket binoculars you can store them in the pocket okay so this is it thank you guys for watching if you found this video useful please subscribe to our youtube channel and see you next time bye bye